Okay, so here's another simple example, right? What if we, we said we, we want to print, um, we want to add the first couple of even numbers that are less than or equal to 10, right? So we want to add 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and figure out what the sum is. How do we do that with, um, with a loop? If there was no loop, well, I mean, we would have to, would have to print 0 and then 2, 4, 6 individually, right? Again, what if someone told you to say print even numbers that are less than 2,000, right? This is where loops come in handy. So we go through the same process, right? Where we identify the initial values that you're going to be working with. And then we identify the conditions that we'll be working with. And then we implement the loop body. Um, within the loop body, obviously, is where we're going to specify the conditions. Within the loop body, we have to continuously modify the initial values that we have, or the initial value that we have, so that we eventually get out of the loop, we break out of the loop. What else do we need to do? We need to uh, come up with a way of repeating the loop. And we know that repeating the loop is as simple as just a conditional branch, right? Branch to the name of the loop body. Again, the loop body is just represented by, by nothing more than uh, a label. A label is nothing more than an address in memory, right? <clears throat> so, initial conditions. Again, it's because we are working with the same numbers, we try not to confuse people here, 10 and zero are our initial conditions. Why zero? Because zero is the first even number that we start working with. And I've forgotten, I don't know if zero is an even number, but we don't know, right? Um, and then the last number that we're working with in the range is 10, right? So which is why we have 10 here. Uh, and really we have 10 here included because we only get to break out of the loop, we branch out of the loop, get out of the loop, once the value we are processing is greater than 10. Um, but you notice that we, we get to do a, a couple of uh, different things here, right? Uh, like, for instance, and in this line number 13 in the revised example is actually part of the, <clears throat> it's part of the uh, initial values that we're working with. An even number by definition is a number which when divided by two results in zero. Right, I don't know how else you define that, but mathematically, um, that's how you define an even number, right? So if you look at our heuristic here, what we would have to do is, uh, um, and we, we're simplif I don't know why we simplified this, right? We've just, we, we, we're just saying we'll, we'll just uh, add two to the, to the values that we're working with beginning zero, right? Because we know that when we add two, we get to the next even number. But another way of implementing this is you'd say, um, we'll just check to see if when we divide the number we're working with by two, if the answer is zero, then we know that it's an even number. Yeah? Okay, so in this case, um, zero and 10, right? Um, and then something else we're doing in, in line number eight here is we're saying we're going to define or specify another, another register that's going to hold the eventual sum that we're working with. Because remember, we want to add the first 10 even numbers, right? So we're adding 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. What is the answer? Right. So we start with 0 because we know that uh, as we are processing the numbers, we'll start by adding whatever number we're processing to 0. Any number plus 0 is that number, right? And then afterwards, we start adding the next even numbers here. So it will be 0 plus 2, you have a 2. 2 plus uh, 4, you have a 6. You know. <coughs> but <clears throat> anyway, so what we're doing here is, um, as a first starting point in your loop, you implement your loop, what you do, uh, specify the condition here, right? Condition is similar to the previous one, you break out of the loop when the value in the register eight is greater than 10, right? Um, and the way that you implement the loop here, you start with the condition here, um, and then you perform your processing, and our processing is, is quite simple, really. What we do is once we check our condition, we add the value that's going to, we add two to the value that's going to, sorry, we add uh, the value in eight to the register that is holding the sum. Sum is in 10. Whatever is in 10, add 
the EV number that you're processing at that point in time. So the first time you have a zero here, you come here, you will check, is zero greater than 10? No, it's not. So what do you do? You say, oh, the, the sum which is in, in 10, which is zero here, add zero to that thing. At which point the sum is zero, right? Because you've added zero to zero. And then afterwards, you modify the initial value by saying, uh, the, the, process the next even number. How do you get to the next even number? You add two. At which point the value in eight is going to be two. Afterwards, you say, repeat the loop body. At this point, the value of eight is two. Right, zero plus two. Yes. Is zero in register eight, another zero in register what? Yeah, because, because we're going to be, we are, we are using these, the values in these registers for do, two different things. The other register is going to hold the cumulative sum. The other register is going to hold the even number that you're processing at that point in time, which is why you need to separate them. And these are starting points. There the, are the initial values which are, are being modified as you're executing the loop, right? You notice if we work through this, maybe you understand here. So it's zero, right? Zero is zero greater than 10, no, it's not. You process this, uh, zero plus zero gives you zero, and then you, uh, uh, because eight has zero in there, when you add two to eight, you have two. So you'll be working with the value two. You, br you, 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 you go back to the loop here, at which point the value in eight is two. Is two greater than 10? No, it's not. So what do you do? You come here. At this point, you know that 10 is a zero, right? And because eight has a two here, it, it would be like you're adding two and zero. The answer is two, right? So 10 has two in there. And then you come here, you want to process the next even number, right? Eight has a two in here, two, two plus two is four, right? You come here, you check, is four greater than 10? No, it's not, right? You come here, you come here, at, at which point in 10 you had two, right? Um, and eight is four, so it's four plus two, which is six, right? And then you add two to four, at which point eight has six. You repeat this, you come and check, is six greater than 10? No, it's not, right? You had a six in 10, uh, you add six plus six is 12, right? Um, you come here, you have an eight, you come here, is eight greater than 10? No, it's not, uh, 12 plus eight, 20, right? 12 plus 8 is 20, you increment here, you're processing 10, right? You come here, is 10 greater than 10? No, it's not, right? You come here, uh, uh, 10 has 20, um, and 8 is a 10. 20 plus 10 is 30. <clears throat> and then you add 2 to 10, you have 12. You come back here, is 12 greater than 10? Yes, it is. You go to exit. At which point you would have had 30 as, as your sum, right? 